affection for loyalty, love, and for soup. Remember that. Who else but a buzz out buddy will sit down and level with, give you the devil will. Sit down and tell you the truth. <laughs> and I, I thought in rehearsal, no offense to Christine, but I was like, how is she going to be able to do this eight times a week? And here at the Ken Center, we do it twice Saturday, twice Sunday. And she's just like, bam, bam, every day stronger. I was like, there's no way. And she broke her kneecap two months ago. Did you know that? No. Like fully crutches, broke kneecap, surgery. And she is dancing, fully dancing up she's here. Really, I mean, she's like doing flips over dancers and everything yeah, else. it's pretty amazing. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> Next time, next show, Max, you'll be doing flips over, over dancers. You flipped over a few dancers in your day, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just saying. I read that somewhere. That talk in Broadway? That's it. Uh-oh. That's talk in Broadway. That's why I don't read it anymore. Oh, wait. Hold. What's that? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be rough. Well, this is the longest soundbite ever. You are such a good sport. Um, so wait, so now I hear there's rumors that this thing, uh, they're talking about it wanting to come to New York. Or is that yeah. just a rumor? I have, well, it, oh, it's definitely a rumor because I don't know anything else. But I will say, you know, all I know is what I see. And like a lot of people have been around, I have to say, people from, you know, re actual producers yeah. <laughs> that I recognize. I won't say who, but they have been here. I know they're checking out, you know, stranger things have happened, but so often you're in a show, they're like, it's gonna move, it's gonna move. And then it never does. So <laughs> into if the it truck. happened, it would be the coolest thing ever. But this is, you saw, it. this is Broadway. I mean, it is a Broadway production here. It's crazy. All right, so what's next for Max then? I always ask that question. If anybody ever asked me that, I'd be like, how the hell do I know? I, have no, I thought you were going to say, when you get to heaven, what would you like God to say to you? Um, no, uh, next, I, I don't know what's next. The only thing I have is after the show is I'm going to Estonia. I don't even know where it is. I'm going to Estonia to do um, a concert, an Andrew Lloyd Webber concert. What? Yeah. It's like three Americans and three um, British, and they've hired us all to go to this huge, literally for like 50,000 people, for almost like the whole country. It's this big public outdoor event. Estonia. And we're doing this one night concert. I'll be there for about a week in Estonia. Is that near Far Rockaway or something? <laughs> Isn't that what they call it? It's in Queens, yeah. It's in Queens, okay. Me, Liz Calloway, Tony Vincent, you know Tony <laughs> Vincent? And then some British people who, who cares. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Max is going to show us how to walk on water. Oh. You see that? You get that over there? Yeah, that's right, because he was Jesus once. That's right. Jesus Christ. I saw you as Jesus once, I think. I think I did. In New York? No, no, I didn't see you as Jesus. I saw you just on stage running right. around. I've yeah. done it regionally a lot. I'll never do it again because <laughs> I, can't, I can't sing it. I can barely get through this show. I'm singing like eight bars. <laughs> <laughs> My best girl. No, so you your beautiful though. voice. You don't know that. So, okay, well, we've bothered you enough, and uh, I guess that's about it. I'm glad you were here. Well, me too. Oh, look at us. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
heart-rending heart, uh, you know, song. Uh, I think that's a torch song. You know, when you listen to Ruth Edding or Libby Holman or uh, Helen Morgan, <clears throat> you know, the songs like Why Was I Born and um, Take Me in Your Arms Before You Take Your Love Away. That's a torch song, you know. It's a little depressing. <laughs> it's a little, yeah. Friends ask me out. I tell them I'm busy. Must get a new alibi. I stay at home and ask myself, where is he? Yes, I'll hang my tears. I was reading your liner notes, and you had some, you know, great reasons why you're singing these songs, and some very funny reasons why you're singing these songs. Did you, because uh, you worked with Scott Whitman and uh, and Dick Gallagher, at, also. So was this uh, th songs that you had all planned together, or something that you would love singing? No, it's um, Scott, Dickie, and I got together uh, and started listening to music, and everybody brought a little bit to the table. I didn't bring anything to the table because I wanted to do bluegrass. <laughs> I brought. I brought Muddy Waters and Two Highways, and neither one of those are on the CD, are they? <laughs> <laughs> so I lost big time. <laughs> um, but Dickie brought, I'm trying to think what Dick brought, and, and Scotty, you know, it's just like, well, we've done My Buddy before. We did it with Miss Lonely Heart um, in um, Patty Lapone on Broadway, and Don't Like Goodbyes, and um, this was sort of our homage to Dick. Uh, putting them on the CD because it's not part of the show, really. Body and Soul. Um, Scotty brought something cool. Something cool. Well, Scott is really the, the scavenger of the music and the, the shaper of the show. And uh, we just listened and then we sat down and sang. And um, then Scotty lined it up. That was the first act. And then when we got the second act, um, Dick got sick. And mm, I got an offer to do Carnegie Hall. After I heard Jonathan Tunick's orchestrations, I said it would be a crime if this wasn't recorded. Chris Fennick came in, a wonderful musician, Chris Fennick, and we worked on the second act, and we put the two shows together, the two acts. And the album is sort of, Scotty wanted it to be a listening CD, so we took out the, you know, the bombast numbers that aren't necessarily torch numbers, but um, are amusing and could be, depending on how you look at life. Um, so he wanted this just to be a, a sort of a listening CD. So. And now you have the concert coming up on Monday. I do indeed. And that's going to be covering, like you said, a lot of these songs and some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, too. It's the, it's, it is the entire show. It's not just the CD. So. And uh, hold me close. Scotty was the name of the show, and the lady with the torch. That fast. I am the lady with the torch. No, Pippin was wonderful tonight. I mean, was it not magic to do all over the place? I mean, it really was. Yes. It was magic to do, not just on stage, but all over the place. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, oh that's not Kentertainment. What? What happened? Oh, all right, Max. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Max von Essen wishes you a happy holiday, don't you? Yes.